So we got a packaging from the Cape Cantina, and I'm just so excited to get into it. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today we have a very interesting video. Now first off, it's been a bit of a weird day, I'm wearing a sequel shirt, what's up with that? I don't know, uh, but, but it does have C-3PO, so that's always a good thing. Very good thing. Um, but yeah, today's video is sponsored by the Cape Cantina, and I'm super grateful to him for sponsoring this video, and yeah, um, we'll just get into it. Use code studs promo when you check out to get all these amazing products you're going to see, and let's jump into it. Okay, everyone. So here is the package from the Cape Cantina. He says a little enjoy the Cape Cantina. Don't use that code. you got to use code RSTUDS. Help out the channel a ton. Looks like he has sent us a ton of items here, and I'm super excited to get into it. Hopefully he sent the Ahsoka cape, and yeah, let, let's get into it. So, first off, we have the ones which I have been very much anticipating, all of the 501st capes. Now, these are custom for all of your brand new 501st troopers. Again, use code uh, stud, studs promo, studs promo, I believe, um, at checkout. And yeah, so here is a bunch of 501st capes. Now, I'm going to go unbox all these, take them out, and put them on the figures. Now, here we have all of these special capes that range anywhere from basically a dollar to three dollars, and they really deck out your clone troopers. Let's get into each one of them. Now, first we have this very cool one. This is a 501st trooper, and it has a little strap. It's a little white, and it looks fantastic. This one is extremely simple to put on, and, you know, just really easy. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning, but uh, shipping on every package is basically a buck fifty, unless you order like a mega load, then that's gonna range you a bit higher. But yeah, so let's move on to the next one. Now this one is definitely a top tier one. It's a uh, blue and black, and it has again the same sort of detailing as the last one, just different color variations. And I really like the kind of uh, ratio difference. Like you give this guy a waist cape, which you'd also buy, or even if you have a another black one it just looks great like you would signify rank or otherwise now here is honestly one of my favorites i believe this is the heavy and it looks absolutely stunning uh, the 501st heavy um is a great cape very iconic used in uh rico a lego star wars story one again very epic and i love it it is great um huge thank you to frame to sending these out and it'll go great with all your custom vehicles which i made in a video you can click on right in the card after this one, of course. And yeah, I just picture this looking really good with a minigun, and we're going to try that. It's with a minigun, and it looks awesome. I love it. It is just gorgeous looking. Um, yeah, that is just phenomenal. I love that. That is just, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, we have one final file first trooper to look at. Now, this by far is one of my favorites um, out of a bunch. Now, it comes with this epic-looking waist cape. You got this cool file first one. I believe this is... Um, Again, reminiscent. It's a bit of the color code of... It's a mix between this one and this one. So this is like a little squad you got going on. You get your fight, customize your fire first clones. And this guy is the commander. And you make your own custom commander with this. It looks great. It has, again, plain blue. It has a little black line around it, which is fantastic. That guy fell. And yeah, it also has this little uh, strap right here, so that way it connects them. Um, I'm still working that kink out a little bit. Um, you need to, like, adjust it um, so that way it works better. But overall, I think that looks just phenomenal. It's a great little captain you could add to your army. Now, it's like a little file first, like, sergeant or something. Uh, but yeah, the next one I'm really looking forward to put, checking out. One right here. This is the Ahsoka Tano cape. Okay, gang. If you want the best-looking Ahsoka ever, you need to get this cape. I believe this is one of his more expensive ones. This one's going around for $425. But it is far, really, by far, really worth it. The amount of little detail put into every little square millimeter of this thing is just astonishing. Uh, there's like seven different colors going on throughout this. And I you really appreciate that for how small it is. Um, we got like this going on here. And it is just, ah, oh, it's amazing. Um, I just took out a picture or to take a picture of it, um, I'm just going to do the thing, and wow, this is possibly 
the best Lego figure I've ever seen with that. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. I don't know if we're going to be able to top that in the Final First squad. Now next up, he sent me these uh, Arc Trooper ones, I believe. Let's check those out. Now next up, we have the Shock Trooper and Arc Trooper like, armor. Now I believe this is Commander uh, Hounds. Don't quote me on that. You can tell me in the comments. But yeah, it's epic. I already own this one, luckily. So, um, yeah, I already have that on a figure, but it is still very cool nonetheless. You definitely check this out at the site. I love it. This is a nice cape. I, 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 I seriously enjoy this one. Uh, yeah. Now, with that said, let's move on to the next cape. ones I've been very excited for. I didn't know I was getting these, the, the other ones I did. But this, essentially, is, I believe, uh, uh, the, um... The, the, you know, the, the straps for the Scout Troopers from Jedi Fallen Order. What? Now, sadly, I don't own any of the new Scout Troopers, which I'm really sad about because I can't find them anywhere at a, a somewhat decent price. But, yeah, so I have luckily two of my older ones from the Ewok Village to fill in the, the role and some of these Forced Order Executioner things. For them to hold and I'll go do that right now. I haven't even put on the other cape yet and oh my gosh this is actually amazing. I didn't even know he had these but this is so good. I really like this is a time like these where I really wish I had the new helmets just to try it out because I can imagine it looks insane. I mean I have something like it. I have the Kashyyyk helmet um, but that'll never do it justice like because obviously we need the the original boy and oh my god now um, uh, and let me just say first um there's a little print right here i don't know what it means um but yeah so you have all the little details i'm not sure what this is going for on this side i hadn't seen it before but it is so good um, hey hey george or steve that's what i'll call you um we got just the back printing uh, he's, he's got a bit of a weird neck. And, oh, it's just so good. I love it. That'll look great in an upcoming Imperial mock. And look out for that. Now let's put on the other one. Okay, so this is just some of the most beautiful fake. Jeez, they're shaking. These are some of those beautiful figures I've ever seen. Now, again, I'll say it two billion times. I wish I had the new helmets. But, yeah, this is just great looking. The This one I'm not as fond of, but I think he uses different materials for these because they just feel so stinking good. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. Like, look at that little printing. It's so tiny and amazing. Now, and this one is a little bit different than this one. This one has, like, actual, like, uh, the arm is actually attached to it, which I think I like a bit better. Um, the thing I don't like about this one as much is that this kind of pops off the side. But I think I know what he's going for, um, because that's the look in the in the game. I sadly don't have the game still. I need to get it soon because I really think it's cool. I'm just I was waiting for it to go on sale, and it's never gone on sale. I don't want to pay sixty bucks for a single player game, just not my thing. But anyway, we have uh, another clone cape and then another imperial cape. Then we'll wrap it up. Here we have the ever famous Moonless capes, which are so famous that now even I had to get on the bandwagon and get my own because they're that cool. Um, and yeah, so I got one brand new one of these. I already owned one. I bought that a long time ago. Um, and yeah, these are great. They have like little droids with like a little smiley face on them. They got a little like a Moonless, this is the Moonless 10 cape um, you pick up. It's a very popular item. It's Sharky Boy, you got a little holster things. You got a friggin' fireball, you got some arabesh. Oh, what does that translate? Someone tell me. Here, let's, uh, there we go. Someone tell me what that means. Um, we got a little pockets. We have up here, we have going up the thing. We got some stuff. It's a continuing strap um, right here that goes up. And then you get the clips with little teeth on them. You got the thing down there up here, the shark. Um, we get the clone head off. Uh, we got the Republic symbol. What? We have his like marks. Like I guess he just bites his teeth down and scratches it. <laughs> I guess. And yeah, that is just a great looking figure. If you want to make a custom 501st like missionary dude that that's stealthy and kind of cool, I definitely pick up at least two or three of these. I think they're going for one 
$2.99 or $2.99, not really sure. Totally pick up two to three of these. They are a fantastic deal. Now let's move into the final capes. Finally up we have these four epic Stormtrooper um, pauldrons. Let's get those suckers on. Now low key, um, this makes these brand new Stormtrooper helmets like a hundred times more bearable. It, it makes them more size accurate it feels like. I mean I'm not a huge fan of these but this just adds a thousand to them. Now I also tried these on with the old guys and it's just not the same. Um, I put the red one on, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, I love it a lot, but the new ones, it just works perfectly with. Now, first, obviously, we have orange. It's all just different very, uh, color types. They just kind of plug them in. Um, we got red, orange, yellow, and black. Now, this is just a spicy group of stormtroopers. Um, I love it. They, they look fan freaking tastic. Uh... Oh my god, like, words cannot describe it. Like, I'm not even just saying that just because, like, it look, they look so much better. They're, like, beefy, you give them a nice backpack, they'll look good, and where's focus, where's the focus? This guy's got, like, a, with the brick arms, it just looks beautiful, can they now can't turn their heads. Um, he looks somewhat bearable, it looks great, it looks great. If you were, want these for the 2014 style clones, um, I'd look somewhere else. Because, like, the, these are not the... the I, I, I don't know if these are the best for those. But for the new ones, they look great. Like, I, I think my favorite example of this is the orange one. That one just... that That's the one that just really sticks it out for me. That one just... Oh, very nice. Um, yeah, now let's show you all the figures together. If you had to prioritize, like, if you... Depending on what you want to do. Now, let's say you want to build... Uh, customize your brand new file first Battle Pack Troopers. Now... If I were you, the capes that I would pick up in bulk, um, depending on how you want to do it, are definitely either the heavies, I get one or two of those. I would definitely get one commander one at least. I get at least like five or six of these, and I, I don't know. This one's like, okay, I, I'd do like maybe one or two of those. Um, I, I, even if you don't want that one, to be completely honest. If you want to have some sort of special ops kind of dudes, I, I totally recommend you uh, buy these. And these probably look great with, with the 332nd Troopers. I'm going to have to try that out later. Now, yeah. So that's if you want to customize your 501st Battle Pack. He has a ton of 501st Troopers. He also has one for Captain Rex, Fives, Echo, Jesse, all the other clones. Now, um, if you wanted just like an ARC Trooper, I mean, that one is personally not my favorite at a lot because there are so many good ones, and that one's just not my favorite personally. Um, if you want these guys, which I was not expecting, and I'm very graciously happy about, um, yes, just... Yes, buy them. Like, even if you, like, oh, don't have a supreme order, or a supreme interest in Fallen Order like me, um, like, because I don't play the game, buy it. It doesn't matter. It's so good looking. Now, if you don't like these big Stormtrooper, hel helmet Stormtroopers, try buying these capes. Just one or two. It, I, I believe they're only, like, two bucks. Um, it can't hurt. Just buy, like, one or two. Put them on your Stormtroopers to you. You like them. It'll really change the difference. And on the old ones, it looks pretty good, just not as good. Um, maybe it's also because he has a CAC backpack on. But yeah. Now, let's say you're on a budget. Let's say you have five bucks. Um, now, if I were you, I would buy the Ahsoka one if you have the Ahsoka figure from the brand new AAT. Because, you know, it's Ahsoka. And I think the most important person you got to customize is your na main character. Sure. And I just think this just adds so much. Because, um, like, it's just kind of a plain torso, and it's weird. Um, without it now. I'm not going to be ever take it off. Luckily, I have two, so I would have one for an example without that. Uh, and they keep falling. Yeah. I, I keep campaigning for him to make Maul. So, guys, DM Freshy YT or XT and tell him to make Maul um, for his site because I want it badly. <laughs> so, we have Cape Cantina Maul versus Ahsoka. Okay, guys, now that was epic. I, I had. I had a lot of fun. I mean, I was wearing a secret role shirt the whole time, but even with that, even with these dire consequences and constraints we have to live with, we'll be fine. We will get through this together. But yeah, we, it's tough times. Everyone, please stay awesome. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, check out all the other buttons. Yes, comment, Patreon, all the things, and I will see you all in the next one. Remember to stay awesome, and... <laughs>